Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish, and welcome back to Westeros Total War, the Blood and Fire sub mod. I asked you guys in the last episode of our Jon Snow campaign if he wanted to see us play as the Undead and the Night King, and the majority of people said they wanted to see it. So in this Let's Play, which is probably only going to be one or two episodes long, maybe maybe three if we uh, want to complete some more stuff. We're basically going to be trying to do the Night King justice. Now, do bear in mind that this mod is very much a work in progress still, so that's why I'm not going to be trying to do a long series out of it. I just feel like doing a nice little challenge of trying to over, you know, claim everything in our path will be very, very fun. We'll be playing on very hard, very hard because the undead are extremely OP. You guys will see it when we dive into some battles. The undead are just absolutely insane. They haven't really been balanced with anyone. They've just been given a ton of armies and their units are better than any other units you come up against which obviously won't be the case when the mod does officially come out but because it's still very much a work in progress uh, you know the units are just really OP and they haven't really got many scripts either so as you can see as we dive in we'll also uh, toggle fog of war as well so we can see everything on the map as well so we can actually just you know see all the beyond going see what Danny's up to down at Dragonstone and you know maybe what Cersei's doing etc um, but yeah, so we have armies in every single province on the map and they're basically going to be full stacks. So what I was thinking of doing is basically not recruiting a single unit. I'm literally just going to play with, uh, what, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 nine full stacks that we have and just see how far we can go. Because because the mod isn't developed yet, um, I don't think you can, yeah, you can't recruit, I don't think you can train either any of the armies you have so you're basically just you know given these nine armies and you're told to go and take over Westeros so we're gonna see how far we can go you know can we defeat Jon and Bran you know Bran is I think currently in Winterfell so it'll be fun to maybe kill him and you know, just continue to push on hopefully we can make it to King's Landing in the two episodes or three episodes that we do it's really up to you guys depending on how many likes and comments we get on this series it really depends on how long it goes for so if you are enjoying this and you want to see more more of these cool kind of challenge videos then be sure to drop a like and a comment down below but yeah let's get this bad boy started my roads are finally complete i felt like building these roads would just be a good idea to help speed up our armies as they come down from the wall i mean realistically we're not going to care about any provinces back here we're simply just trying to make our way to the wall smash through it and then descend upon winterfell i don't know where john's gone oh, we got beric we got clegane yeah there's john right there i think they're all abandoning the north to going to help down in the south because in this mod the white walkers don't tend to go beyond the wall or, or under like through the wall um they're just not programmed to do so i think john mainly comes down south to help out danny in a conquest of the crown lands and that's obviously gonna play really well into my 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 hands i don't think is uh, we can't see but i think maybe bran is going to be chilling in Winterfell completely undefended, yeah, as uh, John and the boys all go down south. But, I mean, now is the time to assault the walls. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and set all of these provinces under siege. Our advances uh, will go on. And we'll make sure that we do set every single settlement under siege. Uh, we need to go ahead and turn off this uh, this speech sound as well, down to like 10 or something, because that is far too goddamn loud. Uh, are we not in range? Oh, we're not in range. The rest of our forces, the Night King is kind of coming in reserve to go ahead and reinforce that. We'll stick stuff down on low taxes. I mean, not that there's anyone left in these provinces to be happy, but... Yeah, I mean, we're under siege on uh, Eastwatch and Castle Black. I imagine it's only a matter of time until they fall to us. Shadow's Tower will come next, and then we'll continue just to ravage the countryside, make our ways through Mole's Town and the Last Hearth, and the Dreads Fort will probably be pretty quick to fall. And I definitely want to try and take Winterfell for sure. But, the, the you know, the North will fall this episode. That is the plan. Oh, yeah, I also have this army over here as well. Is there any way for me to get this army... Now, we need boats, but I don't think I can, I can physically recruit boats. I don't have a single port anywhere. So I, I can't get this army off of this island. Maybe what I'm... Cause I, can't, I can't build a port either? No, I can't build a port either. So maybe what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to try and conquer 
a northern port town like the Dreadfort, build a ship, and then go and pick up that army right there. Yeah, that's probably going to have to be the plan. Okay, the battle for Castle Black. I mean, it's going to be pretty goddamn easy. And Vengeance is going to uh, die now. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have 4,000 men against his 200 defenders. Castle Black has fallen, and we didn't even need a goddamn ice dragon to do it, so I'm pretty impressed with that. We'll just go ahead and secure these provinces. Let's also take Eastwatch now as well. I'm sure we won't... Oh, there's actually 700 men here by Cotton Pike. Yeah, it's quite a few uh, Night's Watchmen, but I mean, nothing that is going to stand in our way. We only lost 100 men. The thing is, though, we can't replenish these soldiers, so every man they kill is actually pretty impressive. Yeah, as you can see, like... We literally, whenever we lose a soldier, it's going to hurt us. So I might have to actually end up fighting a few of these battles off camera just to speed this bad boy up. I don't think the siege equipment is built yet in the Shadow Tower. No, next turn the siege equipment is built. And that's basically the entirety of the wall overrun in a turn's time. I mean... Uh, we also have this army moving up the Night King. I want to keep the Night King's army very, uh, very up to, up to standard because I want him to be the one to take Winterfell. So he might have to uh, sit back or maybe I'll just merge all the other forces into his army. You can see for his force, we do have some White Walkers. We have undead skeleton hordes and also just normal undead hordes as well. So hopefully, you know, we'll do him justice in this, uh, in this Let's Play. Ooh, we can actually go ahead and build a port at Eastwatch, which I'm going to do just so I can bring over more soldiers from our provinces over here in the northern isles of the uh, of the north. And yeah, I don't even know why the undead are over here. I guess maybe they just went and took it, but I'm pretty sure these are uh, northern territory. Yeah, they definitely are northern territories. They're like kind of like tribesmen northerners like that i remember playing them ck2 that they're kind of like wildlings but they're they're still considered part of the north so yeah i wonder why they've i guess they've just all been killed um let's continue to move our armies down south oh yeah also we killed the night's watch as well as you can see we uh completely took over every single castle which was nice the night king's just gonna go ahead and take up his residency in castle black for now whilst the rest of his forces move on mole's town should be a quick slaughter and then we move down to the last half which might be our first proper battle because they actually look like they are garrisoning a small force there and they, I mean well we also have Captain Mark as well I assume rushing up after having a raven hit him that you know the north is lost oh and Johnny's coming north as well that's awesome to see I mean it's gonna be his tomb but yeah John is also rushing north I wonder where Bran is can we see him anywhere we got Beric we got uh the Mandalese click gain yeah all the north is suddenly now that the castle uh, now that um castle black has fallen all the northmen are rushing north but it's not going to be, you know, soon enough. They needed to be here right away to have any hope. Okay, so this is actually pretty interesting. John has taken up, you know, refuge in a fort just outside of the last half, which we are currently sieging. I mean, he's going to be in a pretty tricky situation. As you can see, the uh, White Walkers are on their way and he doesn't really have anywhere else to go. We have five full stacks ready to clean him up. We're also sieging the castle. So if we take this right now, we will basically... Oh my God, he has 4,000 men and we're still just in like so much in the in the adventure we'll fight this one as a nice battle because the last half is a pretty important fortress you do see the aftermath in episode one at the end of episode one you see the last aftermath of the last half so let's do that um but yeah now that john is behind enemy lines in a fort he's basically easy pickings right now so once we take this castle uh things will be very good i, I feel like the uh the map itself is very much uh, a bit too a bit too green to be in the north, to be honest. But yeah, let's set up and, I guess, descend upon this fortress. Oh my god, look how cool this is as well. Then The uh, whites are actually on horseback, the general units. That's so cool. I didn't notice that whilst we were playing as uh, as Jon Snow. I didn't notice the whites actually being on horseback. I only ever noticed these guys that are on foot. But that's very, very cool nonetheless. So if we take a look at the fort itself, we can see, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's got only one layer. A keep back here that you can't actually use, unfortunately. Um, but I mean, you know, the, the northerners never did use their keeps very effectively, so we should just be able to completely overwhelm the walls and then move on to the city center. Okay, the undead are now climbing up the ladders and we'll be able to overwhelm the defenses pretty soon. They do have some umber swordsmen on the front line and then they've also got some crossbowmen in the back line, which is pretty cool to see kind of like a two-layered defense right here. You know, sword when in the front to get ready to meet my skellies and then also the crossbows behind to kind of shoot over their soldiers 
The gate has also gone down now, which is perfect timing. But yeah, something I noticed, you can kind of see it right there, is that the Wildlings are here. The majority of the defense is the Wildlings. So I wonder if Tormund is going to be here somewhere. I mean, I can't quite see him yet, but I imagine Tormund is here because of the Wildling army. Uh, you got Yeah, you got some of these uh, Fens there as well. So I would imagine that Tormund is here somewhere. If we can maybe find him, that'd be very cool. But let's just descend through the fortress now. We have a lot more reinforcements to send up as well. And I imagine our infantry on the walls themselves is also doing a great job. Yeah, just cutting down the enemy. Uh, it's a real shame that we don't get any extra men as we continue on the battle. Hopefully we can get these uh, siege towers up here as well. Okay, so I've managed to basically push the Starks back into this big blob. Well, I guess they're not really Starks, but, you know, wildlings. I've pushed them back to this final stand, and there's nowhere really for them to escape to now. So now we're just going to push in, you know, pincer them in and make sure we kill every single one of them. A lot of them are surrendering. You can see we've managed to capture 820 of them already. But, you know, you know what will happen to them, them prisoners. They'll basically wish they were dead. The fortress fell, and we did lose 520 dead. It's a shame we can't, like, raise the dead up at the end of the battle. But, you know, that's, that's a small casualty for taking, you know, what is a pretty sturdy fortress in the north i think once this has fallen the dreadful and we did mainly kill most of the northerners at the last hearth as well so i think now that this fortress has fallen the dreadfort should be soon speaking of the dreadfort how's it going roos uh hopefully you're doing good in the grave i mean you managed to avoid the long night so it's not too bad is it man that's so interesting to think of like how would you know, say for example ramsey won the battle of the bastards like, how interesting would it be to see Ramsey trying to deal with the uh, with the undead? Or imagine if Roose Bolton, you know, never you know, never got killed. And like, imagine if him trying to deal or like Tywin. That's so interesting to think about. Like how like people like Tywin or you know really other important characters who maybe didn't make it to season eight. How they would like Stannis, you know. Like, I mean, Stannis, it was kind of Stannis' role, right? He would have fought himself, you know, as Azul High. So, yeah, that's really interesting. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Who do you think would have been able to deal with the Night King um, the best? You know, whether it's strategy, whether it's just having the best army. Who would, have, who would have fared the best against the Night King? Jon Snow is about to take his final breaths on this earth. We have cornered him in this fortress. He does have a very nice army, but unfortunately... It is not as good as my army. We are the Night King and we are about to destroy Jon Snow. It should be great. I mean, he's not like we have anything to worry about. I mean, I doubt the Night King even knows who Jon Snow is. I mean, maybe he does, but I'm, I'm sure he's just not even concerned with Jon Snow, you know. He knows that there's... Actually, no, he probably is because he met him beyond the wall, right? So he probably does know who he is and uh, that he is like kind of mustering the defense. But, you know, I'm sure the Night King is just more focused on killing Bran, which we want to do this episode. We're going to... Uh, hopefully take the last uh, the last bastion at Winterfell and then we'll move on from there. But for now, we'll just surround the settlement and we'll come in from every single angle, destroying the walls um, at every position we can and then hopefully finishing off John as he makes his final stand in this camp. Also, the north is far too green as well. I, I think they should, they should hopefully change that. This is really cool. The Night King actually has his own custom models in the game. That's pretty nice to see along with his bodyguard of elite whites. Uh, that will be pushing forward. I'm trying to make as many breaches as I can in the settlement so I can just swarm the defenses in one big go. But Jon Snow isn't letting me do that. He's sending out his cavalry to harass my battering rams. Luckily, I've already made, what, three breaches, hopefully soon to be a fourth, and then I'll be able to get my dead inside the settlement. That's kind of a plan. It's just get as many dead up here as possible, kind of attacking from every single side. At the moment, we are currently pushing through this defensive line. You can see my really undead whites are are trying their best to break through and doing a pretty effective job. Also, I don't know if you can quite see. You can't really see from this angle. It's when you have a cutscene or something. The human whites, so like these guys right there, the dude's doing the stutter step right now. They actually have blue eyes, which is a really nice touch by the modders to add that in. Oh my god, this one brave Stark soldier trying his best, but just getting absolutely smashed, sliced down the back. I can't believe he's still alive. Probably go down soon enough. Um, yeah, so as you can see, we are pushing in from every single side right now. Make sure you guys get that battering ram. I want another breach, like, right here would be perfect. And then, we'll, I guess, we'll send these dead ram aside to make that happen. 
As soon as this goes down as well, I want all of these, uh, all of these undead to push forward. Oh yeah, our white archers as well, also having a field day. Let's, uh, yes, let's push through with the Night King as well. Let's see what the Night King is made of. We'll send him forward with the rest of his white bodyguard. And yeah, let's see what he's made of. We'll push around this side and try and break our way in. Um, and we'll obviously also use this bastard ram to continue harassing them. But yeah, I think Jon Snow's days are definitely numbered. Okay, so once again, we have enveloped their forces in the city center. I guess Ramsay, when he died, kind of gave us some tactics on how we should kill the Northmen. And this seems to be a pretty valid one. Clump them up in the center and then just collapse them every single side. They do have a small defense out here to the left, which are holding up one of my white units, but... I imagine, you know, we just need to kind of drag for a unit right here. And once these guys can surround them, they'll break them. And then we can just fully, you know, complete the envelopment that we've got going on. I also have another, like, six units just waiting out here where you guys know what to do. Get your asses over here and help kill John. Yeah, you can see John right here. John's the Silver Surfer that is currently chilling because I guess his model just hasn't been put in the game quite yet. But there is a Zul High, or supposedly, I guess not anymore, but... There he is, the prince that was promised right here. Very cool indeed. So yeah, a lot of our soldiers are now just breaking through. I do desperately want to just get a unit over here. So let's see if we can like drag through a unit to help, you know, envelop this. Just so that we can fully complete our surround of the enemy. The Night King is also trying to make his way to the front. You know, making his dead give away to his formation. But... Their numbers are dropping extremely quickly. Surprisingly, though, they're all fighting to the death because we haven't actually secured any prisoners yet. So shout out to the Northmen. Jon Snow has been slain on the battlefield. I mean, that's pretty nice that he is now taken care of. You can also see the absolute mosh pit that is going on right now as my dead just pour in from every single side. There is actually a Karstark banner being held high. Is this also a... This is a Stark banner. So that's kind of cool to see the Karstarks here as well. But yeah, we are just simply grinding our way through the Northmen and they're putting up a fairly good fight. But I mean, it's just not going to be enough at the end of the day you can see their numbers are dwindling and it's only going to be a matter of time they definitely think the defeat is imminent and you know we'll take this settlement this is only a fort so it's not even important but we can move on towards Winterfell and hopefully slay Bran if he is still in Winterfell boom so now that Jon Snow has been taken care of the Stark leader is dead we can now make our way over to Winterfell we obviously have to cut our way through Clegane and maybe Beric as well but I imagine even then them will be falling back you can see i'm taking carhole and the dread fort as well and i you know we'll take you know the rest of this land as well as we make our way further down to uh winterfell f in the chat for Tormund. it seems like his time has come he tried to hold the dread fort but was obviously very much unsuccessful um so yeah oh nice oh wait do they do we hold it no okay it's just a rebel army for a second i thought a rebel army held the settlement and um, we we did not hold the dread fort, but that's fine. Let's make our way around there. We'll also take this province as well of Carhold. Yep, quite easy. Secure territory right there. Oh yeah, I also built a boat as well to actually bring over some of our, of our whites as well. So we actually have an entire fresh white army ready to make its way over. So we'll probably send them maybe all the way down. To, I don't know, they've got Stark ships as well. So we don't want to get these guys on land as quickly as possible. But maybe we'll try and get them down here at the Weeping Town. Um, and then keep on going to East Keep, maybe? I don't know. We'll see where the Stark ships go because I don't want to lose my army at sea. That'd really suck. But for now, we're just going to continue to push on, get ourselves closer and closer. Maybe have a big old battle against Kagane before we end this. But, you know, after that, I don't think the North really have much fight left in them. For the purpose of just making this episode a little bit shorter, we are just going to auto-resolve this battle because I feel like we're coming towards the end of the episode and I do want to uh, just get to Winterfell and fight that battle out. So let's just push them back. He did make it also did to Davos as well, so they still survived. And hopefully they'll just retreat back. But yeah, the undead armies do not stop for anyone. We'll continue to make our way through the north, leaving no prisoners as we go. Even these rebels will feel the wrath of my armies indeed. So yeah, we're getting ever closer to Winterfell. You can see on the map as well, we are, we're looking pretty, uh, pretty clean as we take more and more territory. I, I think once we kind of get our armies over to, uh, over to this part of the map, we'll really start to color it blue. 
Beric retreated back to the Weeping Tower and unfortunately it is going to be his team. So we've killed Beric, we've killed Clegane, we've killed Sir Davos and, I've, and we've also obviously killed Jon. I think the only real main character left is Bran and Bar Bran is currently situated right outside of Winterfell with a pretty nasty stack of troops but the Night King has come for him and we will end him. Oh, can we even get to him right now? I don't think we can. There we go. Now we can get to Bran. We're going to dive in and fight this battle. And I think it is time for Bran to be slain. History to be wiped off of Westeros. So Bran has stuck to corner camping this battle so far. He, I guess he's just decided that there is really no hope. Also, unfortunately, he doesn't have a custom unit, I guess, so far. I guess he just looks like a nice boy at this point where, you know, he's not quite the free-eyed raven, uh, at least quite yet. So he's armoured up. He isn't in a wheelchair or anything. It'd be quite hilarious if they managed to get a custom model in of him in his free-eyed raven wheelchair, just like around the battlefield, owning people, shooting laser beams out of his hands. That'd be pretty cool. Or maybe walking into a dragon or two. Um, but for now, Bran's army is in kind of disarray. He's got his archers trying to run away from me. And we're chasing them down with everything we've got. And then, you know, soon enough, his rest of his army will just, you know, crumble down as the undead just pour in on them. And if we press this, you can see, yeah, his swordsmen are starting to break now. So I don't think Bran is, is long, long for this world anymore. Bran is literally the last man left in his units. Besides one loyal bodyguard, we can pretend that's Theon or something. And we've got everyone surrounding him. The Night King himself is rallying the men forward. Oh, the Night King's actually right there. Um, but yeah, we're surrounded him with the Night King and it's time to, you know, wipe history from the map. They also have actually a handful of archers laying around, but we managed to basically route everyone else down. Unfortunately, I think the majority of the army is still going to be sticking around on this, uh, you know, after the battle, even if we kill Bran, just unfortunately because he is still alive. Also, Bran is insanely tanky. Like, look at everything we've got hitting him. And yet he's still just chilling at two men. Like his bodyguard is just not breaking uh, whatsoever. So yeah, I mean, shout out to him for holding firm. The Night King just needs to quickly go ahead and give him a quick one-two with his ice sword. Oh my God, did he escape? No, he didn't escape. Yeah, look at the undead just quickly chase him down some more. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we can kill him soon because I want him dead. There we go. He has been slain. Bran has been wiped off. There is no more free-eyed raven. We are victorious. Now that we've killed Jon, Beric, Sir Davos, uh, Clegane, there is literally, I don't think, anyone left to take you know control of Winterfell and the north. So I think their defenses are going to be basically broken down now and we can just steamroll obviously we're executing everyone um i think we can just basically steamroll everyone now right because we can we can take this settlement now uh yeah bran has been killed so we just take all of these settlements and we just move on taking their armies so i think we're going to quickly just quickly take winterfell finish that off and then we'll probably call it an episode because i should also be able to take the majority of these settlements in that time as well oh don't we actually just got a man of the hour and look at his traits that's actually insane how good this guy is uh we'll definitely take it because we can always do with more whites i don't know where he spawned or anything but hey i'll take him you know another white is always good with me i don't know yeah as i said i don't know where he spawned um but hey i'll take it nonetheless so yeah as you can see we've got our armies basically descending it around everywhere this ramsgate and old castle should be down very soon and then it's just simply you know swarming across so let's take winterfell and then we'll call it an episode Okay, Winterfell is about to fall. Not that there's really anyone of importance left defending it. But, but I mean, Howland Reed is obviously a pretty important character in the books. Um, I mean, not so much in the TV show. But yeah, he's pretty important. Unfortunately, vote Winterfell is ours. We are just going to auto-resolve it. I would have liked to have fought the battle. But because, you know, we, we're kind of subject to time and stuff. We will just go ahead and quickly do that and finish off Howland Reed right now. Yeah, but, so Howland Reed was actually the leader of the Starks there. Which is kind of funny. And as you can see... More of the north is now taken if you take a look at this map down here. Um, and I think we're also going to take a few more settlements just quickly before we end this episode. Old Town, or Old Castle, sorry, it is now ours as well, which is great. So I think it's only Ramsgate down in this corner that is still left to be taken. Um, I think we're moving on uh, Mount Moat Kaelin as well, Howland Reed's uh, capital. 
And we still have plenty of troops left to storm the rest of the map. So if you guys want to see more of this campaign, be sure to let me know in the comments down below and obviously by dropping the like button. If this gets enough likes, I'll be more than happy to do a few more episodes. I think if we do do another episode, though, I'll capture the rest of the north off camera and then we'll invade the Riverlands, the Eerie, and, you know, everywhere else at the same time. I don't think much else has changed, really. Yeah, not much else has really changed We've seen besides Daenerys taking quite a lot of the crown lands. But besides that, I don't think much has changed hands. Well, we do also have Robert... Um, the king of uh, the king of the Eerie pushing up, and the king of the, or the Lord Paramount of the Vale. But I guess he's a kind of a king. I mean, he bent the knee to Rob, so I, yeah, I don't know what the whole uh, statue is right there. And I guess we also do have the Reach as well, moving into Stormland territory. Um, but yeah, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to drop a like and a comment if you did. And I guess winter has definitely come this episode.